trying to function like everybody else, you know, worrying about the fire, if it's going to come or not come, if we're safe or not safe. So I'm over here with uh, the other pet lovers, <laughs> and and it's, it's okay. It's okay, you know. They're feeding us well. They're feeding us well, and the dogs. We have blankets and a warm place to sleep. I've seen a lot of friends here, a lot of people here, and they're pretty much doing the same as me, just trying to make things, just trying to get through things. As far as I know, there are three different shelters. The one I'm in is for pets and their owners. And we've had um, up to, I think it was about 170 with their animals. A lot of them have been in this situation before because of the last fire. And they're kind of used to it. I mean, we've had, you know, very good reception. They're really glad the Red Cross is here um, because they can be with their animals and that's huge and we've had all these crates donated and everyone's happy. So that's probably the most important thing. We got the notification to evacuate. And so uh, we got in the car, went over to where we have our RV parked on Guerneville Road at uh, Patrick Center. And um, luckily got in there, got the RV out and then started driving, not knowing where to go. My wife looked on the phone and saw that uh, they had the RV park here at the fairgrounds. We were heading to Walmart, didn't know where else to go. Uh, and they said they had uh, availability, so we came here. Well, I packed up and, and was ready to leave ahead of time because of the fact we stayed too long when we were uh, two years ago. And, you know, the panic and anxiety was just setting in. And I kept telling my husband, I, you know, I can't just sit here. And he did just the opposite. I think he froze, so I told him I'm leaving without you. And that's when he snapped and finally said, okay. So I just hope that everybody, you know, packs up, does what they're told to do, and, you know, stays put. And if we have to be without power, you know, it is what it is, you know. So just, I hope no first responders or anybody, you know, um, is killed.